Blue Eddy AC500 with the B300S battery. An elegant mouthful of overpriced and underperforming plastic. A unit that requires an elephant just to turn it on. This thing self-identifies as a jack of all trades, but deep down, it's just a shame that it's a master of none. And you've probably seen this thing on other people's YouTube channels, and they've been pumping its tires or replacing its insides when they inevitably fry. It's relaying the message to turn on the battery. It just doesn't want to do anything else. But here at the lab, you guys know our opinions can't be bought. So today we're jumping into an honest review of the AC500 with the B300S expansion battery. And I know the intro was a little aggressive. To be honest, it, it's a decent unit. It, it does what it's supposed to do. The real question just kind of is like, what is it supposed to do? But before we throw this thing under the bus, in case you guys aren't familiar with the AC500 or the 300S battery, let's jump into a quick 60 second teardown. The Blue Eddy AC500 itself is strict an inverter. It has no battery. You cannot turn it on without plugging it into something. It's a 5,000 watt inverter. It has a maximum AC charging capacity of 5,000 watts and the maximum solar input is 3,000 watts. The screen looks like it's straight off of a Game Boy Color. The B300S battery is a 3,072 watt hour battery. You can charge this battery directly via solar or AC. You don't need it plugged into the inverter. Both units individually do pass the tiny baby lift test. The AC500 itself weighs 66 pounds and the 300S weighs 84. Four pounds. On the front of the battery, we have one 12 volt port as well as a USB C and a USB A. And on the front of the inverter, we have three 20 amp max plugs, a 30 amp max plug, a 30 amp L14, as well as a 50 amp max, which is interesting because this is a 120 volt unit. You need two to run 240. So having one 240 only volt plug on this that doesn't run 240 is weird. You have two USB C's, four USB A's. You have another 12 volt up here. This one has like a weird uh, extension cable-y type adapter thing, so it's not a plug like you would expect down here. The one beside it is, however, that is a 24 volt plug. So if you plug 12 volt accessories into that, you're setting them on fire. And right now in early 2024, the price of what you're looking at right here is $4,799. So there is a lot to talk about because that is a lot of money for a misidentified, confused little unit. I think the biggest thing that we really like about the AC500 is that it is a 5,000 watt inverter, which is a huge step up from the AC300. This is a really impressive pure sine wave inverter and tons of plug options on the front. These ports are really nice. The fact that this unit has the 50 amp, the 30 amp and the L14, you can plug this just directly into your transfer switch, for example, is really cool. Now for a unit of this size, this is just an inverter and it's the size of a living room couch. So the fact that it's this big and weighs this much and this isn't a 240 plug kind of sucks. I just think that for a unit this size, it would be sick to see 240 just come right out of it. It also has a 5,000 watt AC input and it also has a 3,000 watt solar input, which is medium. In 2024, that's that's medium. 3,000 watts of solar doesn't sound like a lot of input for an inverter like this, but these are only 3,000 watt hour batteries. So the reality is every hour of 3,000 watts you're putting into this, you're charging one battery. So if you only have three batteries in three hours, you can fully charge your system. So while it doesn't sound like a lot, it is actually still like a perfectly matched number to battery size that these work with. If you have or were considering a unit like this though, this is the better buy. The AC500 big brothers this thing hard. There's also little things like they have wireless phone chargers on the top of this, which is again, just like a misidentified unit. This is meant for home backup, but it has a wireless phone charger on top. It's confusing, yet I like it at the same time. The app is also decent. It's a little bit more fundamental. It lets you see everything that you need to know, and that's it. Now look, I'm not trying to sit here and be a little bit and have you guys listen to me complain all day, but after us being hands-on with a lot of other units, there's just some stuff about this unit that we don't like. We don't know that we would recommend it because of. There's also just a handful of things that just grind my gears. And the first one being this ginormous doinker that you need to plug a battery into the inverter. Now these are designed for a home backup. They're meant to be stacked in a garage, stacked in a corner, tucked away, yet it needs this much extra room beside it just to plug itself into each other. Uh, it's just one of the biggest annoyances with this unit is the L I love, I love that they tried to cover the ports and keep everything tight. However, they don't keep themselves up. They're always flopping down and they never stay in. I swear to God, I come out in the garage once a day and I find like three of these just like this. No 240 out of a unit, just so you guys can get a clear visual that is this big and is just an inverter. And in case you're thinking like, hey dude, you know what? That's the way life is. You see this, 
This is the lid of the Delta Pro Ultra. This is also an inverter, just like this is. It was kind of heavy to lift, to be honest. <laughs> and while it looks like a UFO, 240. Yep, right there, right out of the unit. One battery, one inverter, 240. They gave us two phone chargers for a unit that's supposed to stack in our garage for home backup instead of giving us 240. There's also just a lack of small features like when this runs out of battery. Well, <laughs> when this runs out of battery, any settings that you had going, anything you had plugged in, turned on previously does not turn back on. There are units on the market where if you have like the AC outlets running and it runs out and you have it plugged into solar, when it inevitably charges itself back up, and has enough juice to kick back on, everything that was running before will continue to run, which might not seem like a big deal, but if you're using this for home backup and you say go out and you have a heat source or anything plugged into this and it's cold out, you could come home and that heat source could be off because it ran out of battery for even just a minute and it never kicked itself back on. So that's a feature that we really wish we could see in a unit that is this big. So the biggest real issue that we have with this unit specifically, it doesn't make sense to buy. So it's just over one year old and we're already a couple months in to seeing the Delta Pro Ultra on the market. This is $4,799. This is 5,000 watts of inverter and 3,000 watts of battery. And this, heavy beast, this is a 7,200 watt inverter that does 240, does all the good stuff. And underneath it is one 6,000 watt hour battery and this costs $5,799. Funny enough, if you add another battery to the AC500 setup, now we're at 6,000 watt hours of battery. God damn it, dude. That costs $5,000. $799. If these were the 300 batteries, these are the 300 S. Only real difference is these preconditioned. They have heaters in the batteries to help them charge better in colder conditions. This is actually $7,000 because of the battery upgrade. But if you imagine it without the fancy batteries, just 300s, 5,799, 5,799. This thing's even plugged in right now. Check it out. Look at that, tiny little dinky little tiny baby plug. Beautiful. We have a whole review video coming out on the Delta Pro Ultra, which is the main thing we would recommend instead of this. Now there's tons of other brands out there that you can compare to. We just happen to have a lot of EcoFlow products here. So we're gonna line up this one as well. This right here is the Delta Pro. I would still recommend the almost four year old portable slash home backup system to this thing right here. Reason is, Delta Pro, 2,500 bucks. Comes on wheels, has a beautiful little suitcase handle so you can wheel this thing around. This is expandable for the price of two batteries. You get two full Delta Pro units with double the ports, double inverters, all that stuff. Then you can run 240, you can wheel them around, you could take them with you, you could take them camping, you could take them in your RV, you could use them as home backup. If you're looking for something portable, check out the, you know, the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Something that doesn't necessarily grind my gears but is definitely worth noting is that these units have some sort of issue where inside something short circuits. I'm not an expert. I'm not going to pretend to be and tell you exactly what it is. These units are about a year old. They were given to us to make videos with. They've never actually really been used or abused. They basically just sat in a different garage until we got them. The AC300 never worked. I tried to use it with multiple different batteries and cables and it never ever did anything. For the AC500, you can see there's no longer covers on any of this. We took all the covers off because we were trying to get a really nice shot of us plugging things into it for B-roll. So we removed the flaps so that you could clearly see what was going on. And when we went to power this thing up to shoot our B-roll, it literally just worked five seconds ago. Nothing happened. It's, it's doing the same thing that the AC300 did, literally in the creation of this video. When you press power on the unit, it will turn on the battery, but it doesn't actually turn itself on. So there is some communication happening, but this is the inverter. So having the battery come on or not doesn't really do anything good for you if you can't get power to the plugs. Honestly, when it comes to problems, the fact that we have two units with the identical problem of connect them to a battery, they will turn the battery on. They will not come to life. There is no hard reset button on any of these like you see on some of the other units. I don't know if that's something people don't talk about or if that experience is limited to just us somehow, uh, but we currently have two dead units. Like at the end of the day, I honestly feel bad for this unit. This unit reminds me of a kid that's just bouncing around through foster cares because no one wants them. And you feel terrible. You want to take him in, you want to give him a hot meal and a shower, but he's a
degenerate so you don't. That's how I feel about this unit. I want to like it. I want to recommend it. I want to do a solid review video on it like we normally do, but it's a degenerate, confused, just trying to find itself piece of equipment. And for that reason, I got to treat it like it acts. So all our videos at the Solar Lab are not doom and gloom like this one was. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Check out some other videos if you're looking for reviews. This wasn't, I wouldn't even actually almost classify this as a review. This was just a, a, a brake pumper. You're looking at this? Ooh, bump the brake. That's it. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm sorry, Blue Eddie, your offspring just confused me a bit. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay charged.